Hello to all my friends and welcome to Jim's 5am club and today I come to you once again from this beautiful harbour. I'm over here on the uh, Opera House side of Circular Quay down here on one of the platforms, one of the uh, pontoons and as you can see it's a beautiful day the harbour bridge is majestically positioned over there and we've got the Queenscliff heading back from Manly and it will be slowly coming into dock over here at wharf number three it's a still day it's not too windy not too windy at all it's warm and it's as I said before it's uh, more like a summer's day than a spring day but it's glorious, a great time of year. Anyway, let's, uh, let's have a bit of a chat. I'll go on a walk and talk, and I think today I'd like to uh, chat to you about a topic that I've got near and dear to my heart, and something or a few lessons that I picked up when I was in art class at school many, many years ago with the primary focus on perspective and the importance of uh, having perspective and being able to put things into perspective to, uh, to ensure that uh, you have a balanced view <coughs> of things in our lives and we don't become victims of uh, media and other people's alarmism because uh, we're living in a world now, a very changed world, where the media, Facebook, social media, is providing platforms to people to become vocal, to become alarmist, and to put things way out of proportion, by and way out of proportion, and to reframe things in ways which are different from reality but to people who are untrained and gullible in many ways what they hear people talk about and what they see people post tends to become their reality unless of course they're able to have things fact-checked or they've got uh, people who are able to uh, put things back into uh, proportion and back into perspective for them Anyway, there we go, the Queenscliff has uh, made its way into wharf number three and uh, we'll just turn our round and follow some of these other boats out and go on a bit of a walk and talk. Anyway, I often look back over my uh, educational background and I'm quite thankful that I've been able to, to do a number of different courses, different classes. And I did art for a number of years at school. And uh, it's amazing that through those art classes, I was able to learn things which I'd never in my wildest dreams would have uh, thought that those things would have been valuable later on in my life. But uh, there's quite a few things that I learnt in art. And the sorts of things that I learnt were words such as perspective, um, putting things into proportions and understanding proportionality, understanding things like contrast, comparing and contrast and uh, lots of other wonderful things. But uh, in terms of uh, perspec perspective, the wonderful thing about perspective is that it allows you to, uh, to look at the, pro the proportionality of things and to make sure that what is uh, presented is balanced and accurate from a, an artistic or from a, an aesthetic point of view and, it, uh, and from a representational point of view. And uh, it, takes a, it takes a strong person 
it takes a strong mind to be able to cut through a lot of the bull, uh, the, the BS that we have presented to us uh, in these days. And you've got, um, as we said before, people reframing things, um, changing the frame, changing the context of reality and shaping it in a way that I guess um, matches their view of the world even though their view of the world may be distorted but it's important for us to also understand is that other people's distorted view of the world their Picasso view of the world is not a fully representat representative one and if we're not careful some of this impressionistic uh, style of seeing the world, some of these abstract views that we're inundated with on a daily basis end up becoming our new reality if we're not careful. So uh, how do we use this? I guess uh, another important thing that I've learnt over time and in art and in uh, other studies that I've done is the importance of putting things into the right context and not to uh, take things out of context. And context, context is something which is uh, shaped by framing. Um, I don't know if uh, a lot of you have uh, had an opportunity to work with uh, photography, but within photography, the concept of framing, framing an idea, framing an image, is very, very important. And what I've learnt also is, is with the, uh, the iPhones, is the magic of cropping. You can take a photograph and just change the cropping, the way you crop it. You can cut out a certain image or you can focus in on a certain image. And the whole meaning of the photo dramatically changes. And similarly, in our lives, now we can crop what we see, we can crop what we uh, focus on to ensure that uh, our vision, our view of the world is, uh, is managed in a way which is empowering to us and not to be um, not to uh, not to ha have or be disempowered by a picture which is not of our of, of our choosing. So uh, we've come across a few words today while we're chatting away. We've talked about cropping. We've talked about putting things into context or avoiding looking at things out of context. And uh, these are very, very important, powerful lessons. And for young people, it's something that uh, is something that uh, you need to focus on. I guess is the uh, the short, the short answer uh, in terms of what I want to try and put forward today. Um, and we have the ability. We have the ability because we're human. Because we're intelligent we have the ability to reframe things and repurpose images and ideas and concepts so that they're empowering. One of the most important things that we need to understand is that we can shape our future, we can shape our destiny, we can shape everything in our lives by what we focus on. And we can uh, we can change what we focus on and we can put what we focus on in context by how far away we are from it or how close we want to focus in on it. But these are all tools, these are all strengths, tools that we need to include in our inventory that um, will help us shape our future and uh, to live a better life. Anyway, let's finish up 
and uh, finish up with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I'm well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and uh, let's, let's take a, a bit of a lesson from today's little chat and learn to, uh, learn to shape our focus, learn to crop what we're focusing on to enable us to uh, put things into better context, a context which is empowering, a context that we can leverage, and uh, not to be victim, not to be victim to everybody else's abstract um, uh, concepts, abstract ideas, abstract views of the world. Because if you're not careful, their abstract views, their uh, impressionistic views, their dramatically altered views may end up becoming our reality if we're not there to, uh, to uh, manage, manage the meaning and manage what we're seeing. So take care everybody, wishing you all the very best. Um, and I look forward to chatting to you again from Jim's 5am Club. Get an opportunity, come down to the city. It's absolutely beautiful. There's not much wind today. It's sunny. It's quiet. And as you see, look, I'll just pan around. There are not too many people in the city. And uh, it's like a Sunday. Now, Tuesday is like a, uh, a quiet Sunday. So uh, take an opportunity to come down here and make the most of it. Anyway, I'll finish up now. Wishing you all the very best. Yasas and bye for now. And let me just focus in on that magnificent Harbour Bridge to close out this 5am club. Yasas and bye.